Welcome to church today. We are so excited to see you. My name's Alana, and I'm seven. My name's Kensley, and I'm five. And I am Miss Alicia, and we are so happy that you have joined us for church today. Do you remember the name of our new series? Leap of Faith. That's right. Leap of Faith. That is what we have been talking about. How to not only have faith, but take a leap. Oh, do you know any animals that take leaps? Yeah! A frog. a frog! Last time we talked about a frog. I think somebody even went on a frog hunt. And we used the word frog to help us to remember something important. F R O G spells frog. The F is for fully. The R is for rely. The O is for on. And the G is for God. God. Fully rely on God. That spells frog. And we use the frog to help us to remember that wherever we are, whatever we do, we can have faith in God. What is faith? Faith is believing in something you cannot see. Yes, faith is believing in something that you cannot see with your eyes. You have to believe it in your heart. Well, I thought something really fun that we can do today is to play a game. Do you like games? Yeah. Me too. We're going to play a game called Believe It or not. Girls, are you ready? Yeah. yeah! Okay, inside this box are going to be different things, but we can't see it. We just have to put our hand in there and take a guess, and we'll see who guesses. If it's going to be Mr. Bruce, or if I get the point for guessing it, and I might get dirty. Oh no! Okay, are we ready to play? Let's yeah. play. Right, who's going first? Ladies first. <laughs> I guess I'm going first. Okay, I'm kind of nervous. What if it's like an animal? I don't want to touch this. I'm really nervous. Really. You can. Oh, what is that? Come on. Is it a pickle? Yes! <laughs> I love it. Okay. I don't want right. any more pickles. Here it is. You gotta put your hand in the box. Put your hand. It's a bowl. It's got ridges. It's a cookie! No! It's a doggy treat. No! no. It's, it's a kind bar. Yes! All right, it's in a bowl. Oh, <laughs> it's gooey and yeah, strawberries. No. Oh, tomatoes. No. Oh, jello. No. Here you go. Oh, oranges. it's pink oranges. It feels like yogurt. No. no. It's not honey. No. It's not peanut butter. It's no. like too squishy for that. No. It's not applesauce. No. no. Is it jelly? Yes! Oh! Okay. All right. You All can right. get it. Oh. <laughs> Sticky and gooey. And it's not ice cream. Feels like soap. Oh. Yogurt. No. Whipped cream. Yes! Peanut butter. No. Oh. It's not yogurt. It's me of apples. Oh. Applesauce. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's applesauce. It does not have red this Oh, it's really hard when you can't see something. You gotta feel this. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what it is? us today. Wow, that was kind of tricky. We couldn't see it, but so we had to believe. believe. Believe it. And that's just like faith because faith is believing in something you cannot see. <laughs> Until next time. Bye everybody. Bye. Can you believe the things that the girls picked for me to try to figure out? I was feeling and trying to search for it. Whipped cream. 
that one had me tricked. Feeling it and trying to figure out on my own was really kind of hard. Believing in something that you cannot see can be tricky. But do you know that we don't have to do it by ourselves? That's what relying on God is for. All we need to do is have faith. We believe it and He helps us to do it. We don't have to do it by ourselves. Faith is believing in something you cannot see. But the good news is, is that God is there to help you. Fully rely on who? On God. He's the one that will help you with your faith. He even gives us a great example in the Bible. I like to call this person a faith super leaper because he was kind of like a superhero of the faith. Have you ever heard of a guy named Abraham? God told Abraham and his wife Sarah that they were going to have a baby even though they were really old. And he had to believe God in his heart. Even though he couldn't see it, he didn't try to figure it all out and see what it was and make sense in his head and try to make the plans by himself. No, all he had to do was believe in something he couldn't see. And Abraham believed God. And God gave him exactly what he promised. Not only did he give him a son that he promised, but a family that was more than you can even count the stars in the sky. And God kept his promise. And all that Abraham did was believe. He had faith. He was a faith leaper. Galatians 3 verse 9 says, So all who put their faith in Christ share the same blessing Abraham received because of his faith. That means that whoever believes in Jesus, we are going to receive a blessing just like Abraham received a blessing because of our faith. We can be super leapers just like Abraham. We don't have to figure it all out. We don't have to think about it really, really hard. It starts in the heart. So what are you believing God for? All you have to do is have faith and fully rely on God. Until next time, I can't wait to see you. And this week, let's remember to leap into whatever God has for us. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.